Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro, using Dissolve to aggregate and summarize data. Let's get started. We're looking at some unemployment data in Harris County, Texas, or you may be familiar with Houston. I have individual blocks that are assigned to unique tracks. So each track can have anywhere from one to seven blocks. Since I'll be performing some statistics and summaries on this data later, I'd like to get these polygons up to the track level. One way we can do that is utilize the Dissolve tool. Now we can go to our Analysis tab and select Tools. And from there, we can type Dissolve to bring up our Dissolve tool. It's in the Data Management tools. You can double click or even drag it into a model. I'll be running this on Unemployment. You may already be familiar with the Dissolve tool and have used it to dissolve on just one field, or maybe even more than one field. However, I'd like to explore the statistics fields. I have total population, as well as the unemployed totals. So what I'd like to do is summarize these. In addition to summaries, I can also do counts. So I would like to count the number of blocks per tract. Before we click Run, make sure that you clear your selection. You can do that by navigating back to the Map ribbon and selecting Clear. Now let's click Run. Returning to the Contents pane, we can see that our new Dissolve layer has been added. Let's look at that Attribute table. Zooming in, you can see that it has been aggregated or essentially dissolved down to our track level. In addition, we have our summary population totals, our unemployment totals, and even the count of blocks per tract. This can be very useful, especially if you plan on calculating additional statistics. There is a downside. You are missing a few of the other attributes. Let's look back at the unemployment attribute table. You see we have our GOID, our state FIPS, and our county FIPS as well as any other information that may have been included would be lost. I've pulled up a model to better illustrate the advantage of the Dissolve tool, at least for simplistic statistics purposes. With just the Dissolve tool, we were able to run summary statistics on both the population total and the unemployed, and even take counts of our blocks, all using the same tool. In addition, we were able to keep that spatial information. If we were to try to achieve the same, we would need a model similar to this that would break out multiple pivot tables, add fields, and then calculate those totals, and then join it back up to some spatial data that was narrowed down to tracks. However, when we look at the both resulting tables, you will see some differences. Looking at both tables side by side, my attribute table for the dissolve is here on the left, and my attribute for the pivot is on the right. You'll notice that I was able to retain each individual block and its entry utilizing that larger model. Whereas for the Dissolve tool, you're only receiving the tract and the summary statistics. So the Dissolve tool is very powerful, but you do have to be mindful of how you intend to use the results to determine which method is better for you. Let's recap. Utilizing the Dissolve geoprocessing tool, I was able to aggregate or essentially dissolve the three polygons into one unifying tract. In addition to dissolving the three polygons into one, for example, I was also able to calculate summary statistics. So for this particular tract, I can see the sum of the population total, as well as the unemployed total, and even the counts of the blocks that remained. There are some pros and some cons to utilizing this tool. It will only keep the field that you were dissolving down to, and the summary information. But in the right instance, it's a great way to save a lot of steps, as well as get some clear results tied to your spatial polygons. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.